Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica and I'm super excited to have you join me today as we have another great Silhouette Studio tutorial for you. Now, if you like Silhouette Studio and learning how to use it, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because we always have a lot of great information for you. But today we are focusing on how to make sketch or etch designs in Silhouette Studio. All right guys, so here we are in Silhouette Studio and I'm really excited to start getting more in depth in the software with you because I know that these are things that you guys need to know, but sometimes you don't know what you don't know. You know what I mean? Like if I don't know the right keywords to search, then maybe I don't know how to find what I'm looking for. So today we are talking about sketching and etching designs. And what that means is if you are going to use a tool with your silhouette that is going to sketch out a design, like maybe you're using sketch pens or a pen holder, or if you want to etch a design, like you can etch with the foil quill, I guess foil quill could also be sketching, but see, that's what I'm talking about. But etching, you can actually get engraving tips that can etch on metal and acrylic. So some really neat features that kind of go above and beyond what a lot of people think of when they think about crafting with their silhouette cameo or portrait. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on in. The first thing I want to do is I want to change my page setup here. So we're going to come to the top right hand side and I'm just going to go ahead and change my machine to none. Now that doesn't really solve anything. It's just, this is more of a visual thing for me. I'm going to turn off my grid as well. Um, I just like the simplicity of having just the designing area available to my eyes. Okay. Now let's go ahead and import an SVG because we are going to use a standard SVG. So we're going to go to file and merge to bring that here into our work area. I'm going to go to my downloads and I want this sunflower right here. Now, once that imports, go ahead and select all. I used control A. You can also zoom out and select it all with a, uh, with your drag box. We're going to group it together. We're going to group it together and then I want to size it. So we're going to come here to the size. I'm going to make it 11 and a half because I know my work area is 12 by 12. So I'm going to center that and it's nice and centered in our design area. Now the colors don't matter. So let's go ahead and change the fill to transparent and we're going to change the line color to red. Now, if I were to take this design and sketch it or etch it on my silhouette cameo, it literally will only trace the outline. And a lot of times that's disappointing because that's not the look you're going for. I want my entire design filled in. This is especially true with fonts because fonts definitely look a lot different when they're empty on the inside. Okay. Now let me also pause and say, and I should have said this in the beginning, so I apologize, but the features that we're using today are available with the designer edition upgrade of Silhouette Studio. So normally it's around $35 if you find it online through a reputable website. Just to make sure if you are new to purchasing an upgrade for the software that you are purchasing the correct upgrade. If you ever have any questions, just go ahead and hit the pause button and ask because there are different upgrades for different price points and sometimes the least expensive option is not the one you're looking for. Okay. So just that way you don't end up in disappointment. Um, usually the lowest that you'll find designer edition is going to be between 30 to $35. It does retail with silhouette America for the MSRP is 50 or 49 99. So, um, you will need that because we are opening up the line effects panel. Okay. So I used my little extendo arrow down here. And this is the icon I'm looking for. I can also come up here to the top and go to panels and line effects. Okay. So either way you can access that. So I'm going to select my SVG file here. Now I can fill it in with any of these options here. Okay. So for example, that is like a crosshatch. Okay. I can go diagonal lines. 
I can fill in um, kind of like from the inside out. There we go. Squiggles. Like literally there are all of these options that are available to me to be able to fill in my design. I typically find myself going with just a um, regular stripe effect. And then what I like to do is go ahead and decrease the spacing because I want this to look filled in. Okay. So if I were looking at this from a distance, um, or I mean, really even up close, if I were looking at this, it looks like it's filled in completely. And that's because let's see if we can see them when we zoom in. There we go. You see all those lines. Now it will trace all of those lines. And let's just say that takes absolutely forever. You know, it does. It cannot do that much work without taking a really long time. Okay. So also another way to do that. And I find that this way actually gives me a better fill. Also go with the spacing of about 0 0.05 and I'm going to change the angle to 45 degrees. Now I'm going to use the duplicate button. I, I'm using a shortcut. So control and the left arrow on my keyboard. And on this one, I'm going to put in negative 45. And what it does is it switches my lines to the other way. Now, when I center that, you see, I have a nice cross hatch. Now, will this cross hatch work? Maybe, but this is the way that I was originally taught to do it. And I just know that I get really, really good results. So what will happen is it will still follow all the lines, but there's not quite as many lines. They're just in different directions and that overlapping really helps out. Okay. In addition to that, let's do a new one. Let's go to no fill and center that as well. And what that does, see how it gives me that definition. Now that doesn't always translate to your sketched and etched designs, but a lot of times it does. It adds just a little bit of definition along the outside of your um, sketching. Okay. And a lot of times you can even set that to, you know, two or three passes to make sure that, you know, it gets nice and deep in there to get that, that effect. Okay. So basically guys, and I know this is semi disappointing. This is a short video, but this is kind of it. Okay. So let's separate these out. You have three layers. What I would do is I would select this. Well, let me show you one more thing. Okay. Cause this can be interesting, interesting slash frustrating at the same time. If I size this down to be, say, I'm going to do a keychain and do three inches. Well, now when I, it doesn't look nearly as filled in, right? So you can um, change the spacing, but also what I find is that let's take that back to 11 and a half. I can also release effects. Okay. And then same thing here. I'm going to release effects. And what that does is it locks those lines in place. So I can go back, overlap everything. Do, do, do. There we go. Center. That's what I'm looking for. And now if I go ahead and size these together, three inches, see, they're still nice and tightly woven. Okay. And a lot of times that's what I'll do too, is I will go ahead and set up the lines like I would a large image and then release the effect so that when I tighten it down, my etch or sketch lines are that much of a tighter weave. Okay. So completely up to you. Basically what I'm telling you is you need the designer edition. You need to come in here and open the line effects panel. And then you need to play around with all of these features that are available here because there are a lot of really awesome techniques. And of course you can go out and you can buy designs that are already filled in and created for using with etching and sketching. But when you can take your favorite SVG and make your own, you really open up a new uh, wide world of all the things that you can do with your machine. So come in here to your line effects panel, check it out. And definitely 
uh, you know, take a look, play around with it. Um, a lot of us got, you know, sketch pens in with our little Cameo 4 bundles. Also, you can get a, you know, a pen holder and experiment with just some copy paper and some, you know, inexpensive pens. But whatever you do, don't overlook this really awesome tool. And you guessed it, we will absolutely follow up with a video on actually etching and sketching. Okay, we'll do a video on each for you so that you can see the difference. And if all of this was kind of over your head and you're saying, Becky, that's ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's okay because we have a great beginner video for showing you the ins and outs of using Silhouette Studio. And that's an excellent place to start, even if you just need a refresher. Okay, so I am going to wrap it up for today. But hopefully you took some notes. If not, you can definitely hit the rewind button. That's what's great about these videos is you can come back and refresh and check them out anytime. Um, but this is how you set up your very own etch and or sketch designs in Silhouette Studio. So guys, how did you feel about learning how to set up and create your own sketching and etching designs in Silhouette Studio? And I know it can be a little bit intimidating, maybe it can be confusing, wondering what you would use etching and sketching for, but hopefully some of the examples that we listed out will help you to wrap your mind around why you would need this really awesome feature. So I am going to wrap it up for today, guys. I do appreciate you stopping by. I love all of your questions and comments, so definitely make sure you leave those down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. I love to keep growing the channel so we can keep bringing you more videos that you want to see. So thanks again for stopping by, guys. I do really appreciate it and we'll see you again next time.